Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at three somewhat revolutionary classic telescope mounts. These are modular telescope mounts uh, from the 1970s and the 1980s. We'll start with the GOTO Mark X, about 1976 or so. About 1984, along comes the Takahashi Space Boy. And then a year later, here comes the Carton CST. And then about the same time was the Vixen Super Polaris mount. We don't have an example of that. These mounts are very important and significant. They have extremely interesting characteristics. They can all be taken apart, reassembled in different configurations, as many of you already know. But I want to compare them in this video and see what the differences are and how similar they are. All three of these mounts came with a built-in polar finder or could be fitted with one. That was a very important innovation at the time. A lot of mounts did not have a built-in polar finder in those days, so it was a big deal. It allowed the mount to be used for astrophotography very easily. Each of these can be accessorized with a mounting plate like this. These are not original. They're replicas that I made in my shop, but they're pretty close to the original kinds of things. These can be attached here in one way or another in different places to change the utility of the mount for one reason or another. The little Space Boy is a smaller mount um, and it was only really used to hold maybe a four inch or so, although I have used this successfully with a very heavy five inch hyperbolic astrograph uh, and it was really, really useful. I did a lot of nice work with this astrophotographically. This one can hold at least a four inch telescope. This one probably could hold a four inch F15, uh, but is most notably uh, used to hold a 80 millimeter or 60 millimeter refractors, long focal ratio refractors. The most useful thing you can do with any of these mounts is to remove the declination slow motion. All of them come apart at this juncture. So now you have just the right ascension by itself. The Goto right ascension head can be easily removed from, with four bolts from the uh, mount. And then there are a couple of quarter inch 20 holes here. So you can just adapt this to virtually any good quality tripod, like so. Then with the addition of the adapter plate, like this, you can put various accessories on here, mount those like that, and do some astrophotography. This makes for a very convenient and portable kind of a mount. This is the Carton CST mount. This mount comes apart into about a million different little pieces, all sorts of little components. Notice that this mount, if you Take the bolts out and pull this off. There are no quarter inch 20 screws here. So you're gonna have to either work out some sort of a, a way to mount this to a tripod or just take the whole carton tripod. And this thing is quite a bit heavier. The tripod, all of that stuff is considerably heavier than the little Goto Mark X. So it's a, a con considerably different proposition. This will do the same thing. I mean, you can do the same exact thing with this couple of cameras on there, same as with this one, same basic idea, uh, but it's just a much different practical proposition. This one is much lighter, much easier to carry around. This is the head from a Takahashi Space Boy. All of the extraneous stuff has been removed. It's got a quarter inch 20 hole here, so it can be mounted straight to a tripod. You'll notice it's not too heavy. So now we have pretty much the same thing as these other two. The Space Boy is lighter. As a matter of fact, it's about the same weight, maybe a little bit lighter than the Mark X. But it's about the same weight, uh, has about the same robustness. So the Space Boy is a good competitor 
for the Mark X. The Kozo Mark X was really remarkable, uh, quite an innovation. And the copiers, the imitators were also pretty cool. Uh, however, they didn't seem to catch on. You don't see many modular kinds of telescope mounts anymore. The only ones left that I can think of are Takahashi Teagle Sky Patrol 3 mount and the PM1 also by Takahashi. These mounts are uh, descendants from uh, the Goto. Of course, you could say that they're also descendants from the early TS-40 from Takahashi and maybe even the uh, TS-65P, which was very innovative by Takahashi. Anyhow, it's very strange that you don't see many more of those. Um, maybe they're too complicated. Uh, maybe there was self-competition too, because Takahashi, Goto, uh, all of them came up with sort of dedicated small astrophotographic mounts. Um, that may have something to do with it as well. They're also a bit harder to understand, a bit more complicated. Uh, there's lots of little bits and pieces, kind of uh, little idiosyncratic things about them, so maybe they're just not the, the cup of tea for every amateur astronomer. Anyway, for whatever reason, uh, there aren't many left. I hope you enjoyed having a look at these fascinating modular telescope mounts from the 1970s and 1980s. Thank you for watching.